Hi guys, today I'm going to show you the work done in an adiabatic process, how to find the relation and so on. So we know that in an adiabatic process, PV raised to gamma will be a constant. So P is inversely proportional to V raised to gamma. When we plot the graph of this relation, we get an inversely proportionality graph. Okay, so we have to find the work. We know that work is equal to F into S so that work force can be written as area into pressure into S. Area into S that is displacement will be equal to volume. So work can be written as P into V. So we have to find the product of P into V raised to gamma. As this is a curve, so we have to consider a small strip. This is a curve, so we have to consider a small strip that small strip this length will be dv and this is p so we have to find in order to find the small work we have to find the product of pressure and the small volume that is dw equal to p into dv so i am just in integrating this equation in order to find the total volume we know that integral of dw it will be equal to integral of p dv we know that PV raised to gamma equal to constant in, adiab in an adiabatic process. So P can be written as K by V raised to gamma. I am going to substitute this equation right here for pressure. So I have substituted it and by substituting it I got a new relation. So we know that integral of a constant is a constant. So I put that constant right here from here from here to here so I'm going to integrate it I'm going to demonstrate this step first this integration step we know that integral of a 1 by v raised to gamma can be written as v raised to minus gamma so I'm going to integrate it we know that uh, x raised to n d x is equal to x raised to n plus 1 by n plus 1 so I'm just using that simple integral formula in here so v raised to minus gamma plus 1 by minus gamma plus 1 upper limit and lower limit this is the initial volume and this is the final volume so just applying the limits we get v2 raised to minus gamma plus 1 by minus gamma plus 1 minus v1 raised to minus gamma plus 1 by minus gamma plus 1 so I am going to substitute this term to our this equation right here by substituting it we get k into v2 raised to minus gamma plus 1 minus v1 raised to minus gamma plus 1 by minus gamma plus 1 so as the denominator is same I, I just write it as here so we know that PV raised to gamma is equal to constant so P1 V1 raised to gamma will be a constant P2 V2 raised to gamma will be a constant also so I am substituting these value in corresponding places we have to do this in corresponding places so that we get our relation so I am going to multiply, multiply these two terms having the subscript 2 with the terms which have the subscript 2 so here we have the subscript 2 and I am going to multiply this with this and here we have the subscript 1 so I am going to multiply this with this so we have to multiply this with this and this with this because to have same subscript so by multiplication we get p2 v2 raised to gamma into v2 raised to minus gamma plus 1 minus p1 v1 raised to gamma v1 minus v1 raised to minus gamma plus 1 by minus gamma plus 1 so by simple multiplication we we know that this will cancel each other and this will also cancel each other and this one will remain this 2 1 will remain so p2 p2 raised to 1 and p1 v1 raised to 1 will be 
equal to our work done by ga minus comma plus one it implies change in PV by minus gamma plus one will be equal to work we know that PV equal to NRT ideal gas equation substituting PV by NRT we get delta NRT by minus gamma plus one applying delta we get number of moles is always constant and universal gas constant is also constant the, uh, so delta applies to temperature so we get work is equal to nr delta t by minus gamma plus one so this is the relation for the work done in an adiabatic process hope you all understand it thanks for subscribing bye